Oh, okay. <laughs> the first thought that came to my mind when you said, give me a thought, was miracle healing, and healing the sick and raising the dead. And it, it really wouldn't be a miracle if it couldn't accomplish all of that. And so, um, from my experience, that's exactly what A Course in Miracles has actually given me. It's given me the ability to be able to look at something, step aside, look again with the, with the pure, holy spirit, the mind of God, and look at someone again and see them transfigure right before my eyes, see them become literally pristine and whole. It's been the most amazing experience. It's what, it's what leads me to understand how absolutely unreal all of this is around us. How it is just a projection of my own mind. That the corruption that I'm seeing is actually in my eye and not in the thing beheld. So that when something comes up to me and poses itself as mentally ill or whatever and is just shrieking in this madness, I'm able to look at them, look for the light around this figure and say, simply say, show me who you really are because I know somehow you're the Holy Son of God pretending to be this distorted figure. And, and actually watch it and I have company sometimes with me as many, many witnesses to this fact. So it's just, it's just so encouraging. Not only, it's, it, it takes me right back to those biblical moments when I always went, if that's true, then God really exists and God really, you know, is, has a presence here in this place. Then I was able to find myself in that place where I was the, the messenger, where I was the witness and I could see that. And so um, that's what I do. That's been my, my life since I discovered A Course in Miracles, was to put it into practice, to actually have experiences of seeing the transformation of the field around me by the change in my mind. So, I, in fact, I wouldn't know it anything but conceptually. And I, I had a, a story that I was telling the other day when um, we were there in New York on September 11th and I had walked to the UN to pick up my colleagues. And on the way back, I met a group of people and one man particularly called out because he looked so frightened. And as I came up to him, uh, and he asked what it was that, uh, that, that we were doing there. I said, well, we're just here reminding everybody that they're asleep and this is a dream and none of this is real and that they can take heart and they don't need to be frightened right now. And that's what we're doing. And he says, well, how are you doing this? And I said, well, through Jesus' Course in Miracles. And he goes, oh, I've read that book. I've studied it for 27 years. And I went, oh, you can study this book for 27 years and not, not understand it at the level of experience that you can actually still be frightened right now in this moment when everything is calling to you to, be a, to step in to be a healer. That's when I realized that conceptually you can read any book and not understand it, but in the moment of actually demonstrating it, it becomes, it becomes real to you. Yeah, thank you. It's good. That's, that's one finished thought.